Hello, this is called Kyle's Tracks and Trails, and today I got kind of stuff dragged out because I got some new stuff and I was comparing with the older stuff. I don't know if put that back on it. I got some Pathfinder gear. One of the things I got was this bottle kit. Now I went ahead and dragged it out of the bag just to show you, but here's what the bag looks like. In fact, let me show you what this bag. That's my old ones. You can see they're definitely big. This one's definitely bigger than this one. I fit this hair more than what I bought inside this one than I could this one. Of course, you got the bottle for this one. I think they're both roughly the same size. This one seems a little bit taller. But the lids, both lids fit for each one. I can put this lid on top of this one, and I can put this lid on top of this one. The cups are the same, basically, except for the wings are different. I just call them wings with the handle to the cup. As you can see, there's a difference with the cups. But not much of one. The stove, the twig stove, I'm going to call it a twig stove, you can stick it over an alcohol stove. And you do both like that. The only difference is the way they look here. And I haven't used this one. Well, I haven't used this one at all. This is the Pathfinder one. Obviously, it's new and I haven't used it. So, all I gotta do to get them nest together, of course, is let me grab this. I can do this, and I can nest it. I forgot what to do with the cup here. Oh, I got the cup. <laughs> yeah. If I can nest this inside here, that belongs to that. There we go. So that's simple. And plus the wings are above. Now you're about to see a difference with Pathfinder. And that's another thing. These do do that. The Pathfinder one does it. But as you use it, you can do that. And they're still going to be kind of, over time, do that. Now if I just get them out of there. Okay, there we go. And of course put the ball right back in there. And this one, because it's a smaller bag, was actually a little bit more difficult to get out with this part. It goes right back in there. Now, of course, I made a kit out of this, and I'll show you what I have in there. A Swiss Army blanket. I did have a fishing kit in there, but I took it out. Swiss Army knife. I have a lighter, of course. Grill tape, and I have a little bit of a knife sharpener here. And of course, I think these are black and white fire starters. I got two of them. I might have three. I thought I had three, but I don't see it. And that's pretty much it for this kit. Now I'll show you the kit I bought with Pathfinder. It's all Pathfinder gear, so let me put this out of my way. Now I'll show you with the cup. Let me undo these. These don't move at all. I don't know if they will over time or not. We'll find out. But try and put this thing in here. Oh, it did go down there. All right. Now it's stuck. It's better to have these like this than do that. And it's looser like that too, so you don't really have to worry about having to do that. And of course, the bottom of this nest. And unlike the last cup, this one has measures in it. This one goes to 25 ounces. I don't know if you guys can see there or not. Yeah, there we go. There's the measurement. My last cup that I just showed you that I've used a bunch of times has, does it? So I can put it all in there. It came with silverware. It came with this. Wide mouth fish spread, whatever you want to call it. It came with the fire rod the striker. Oops. There we go. You see it does pretty good. It came with these medium infernals, and I'll show you what they look like. Just like that. Get out of there. 
You can definitely smell the chemical they use, whatever chemical they do use. I use half and half when I made mine. They're definitely different from this, the way they feel. I use like half charcoal or half beeswax. And there's the lid. Mine came with the lid too. I didn't pull it out of that bag. So I can just stick the lid back in here. And we'll talk about the bags and we'll get everything back in there. So I got plenty of room in this bag for stuff. I mean, there's no getting around it. But I want you to look how much room I have. I ain't stick the alcohol stove in there if I wanted to. Which I may get the other alcohol stove. Now what I found I like to do when I was messing around is go ahead and stick my silverware on the top here. Or down the side of it. There we go. Now I'll just stick this in the pocket here. Which also seems to have a little bit more room than the other one did. If I didn't have to work, I'd go in the woods and try it all out. I got like a 30 minutes right to leave here. Now, the bag itself comes with these nice zippers. My other bag wasn't that bad of zippers either. Oh, damn. I just realized really have to use the lark's head to get the string on the zippers on there. The zippers aren't bad. Um, mine has a strap, so I didn't take it out. One of the things the strap didn't have, which I would have appreciated if it did. Get it untwisted there. I'm all twisted up. There we go. As it came with this. Wider strap goes on top. And you don't want it on there, it'll come off. I have, my other bag didn't have this either. Molly attachments. Um, Molly stuffed this pit things on there if you want an extra pouch if you need to or want to. Whichever. As you can see this by looking, I still have plenty of room. I mean, there's no... I still have room in this front pocket. I can make another kit to go along with this kit if I wanted to. And another thing I'm going to show you... Things I have it opened up. Is Pathfinder teamed up some blessing. For you that have been following me, you know I had a some blessing head down if I was giving two of them. And I did give away and gave away one. The features are the same. And we'll go through the features here. Oh, I may have to unlock this one. Hold on a minute. Alright. With the locking, it's the same way. Even the locking. You press both buttons until you see a light. I'll just unlock so I'm not going to do it again. There's that. There we go. And get maximum on there. There we go. Now if you wanted the strobe... Pull it down. We'll do it eventually. There we go. And then over here you have green, green, red. Hold on a minute. It should. Maybe. Hold on a minute. Well, it did a minute ago. There we go. There's that. If I hit it again, it's faster. And if I do that, it just turns off. I don't think green does it. Nope. Alright, cool. So basically, it's like the Sunblasa that I have. And that's what they teamed up with Sunblasa. And they tied their Pathfinder strap to it. But someone came up that idea, and I forgot his name, about having a Velcro patch on it. You can take the strap off here. Because the strap, this thing right here, both sides do it. Come right off. I'm going to put this back on here. And I'll show you what it looks like a mother app. I found it to be kind of a pain in the ass to mess with. Putting that low crawl fan taking the strap off alone. 
and that just may be me. Alright, it does come with a charger, just like the Sunblaster did. Now here's the strap, the Pathfinder strap. And this is what it looks like the Velcro. Now if I was wearing a Wazoo hat, which I'm not, I could just put it on there. Now if I had my Pathfinder bag, let's pretend it's my Pathfinder bag, I could just stick it on there. Instead of having to move my head around if I'm reading or something. As far as getting the stuff back in there, that's easy enough. It's just like this one, bless the headlamp was. I was giving it a try out. And some bless one I use that's not Pathfinder, it goes in my get home bag. I actually need to buy some solar chargers, solar bricks. I do have bricks, but they're not solar bricks. That's basically it for this. Um, this is what the box looks like. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this up because I do have to go to work eventually. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to me. Hit the notifications bell so you get notified when I do put this video out. Or any other videos. And also, leave me a comment. I do enjoy and appreciate the comments. Y'all learn off each other. And also, share the video out so I can get more views. Other than that, this is Kyle Kyle's Tractor Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one, folks.